Hello everybody, this is Dave. I want to share with you what I've done with my EZB version board 4. Um, it, um, one of the cool little features about this is that it actually streams voice files over Wi-Fi from your laptop or your handheld device, I believe, um, right to the board itself that can be mounted on your robot. Um, I'm building a, a full-size B9 robot here. Um, which I have documented in other videos and pictures on the website, uh, Easy Bee Forum, Easy Robots Forum. Um, but I just, uh, a couple weeks ago, I got this new version 4 in here. And it's, it's just awesome little board. One of the things I really like about it is uh, not only that it's so easy to, to set up, um, that it just is so versatile. Uh, it does come with its own little uh, speaker mounted inside there. Uh, I've kind of taken it apart and, and did some cobbling on it uh, to, to fit into my robot better, um, which is one of the nice things about this board, is uh, if you got a little experience and knowledge, you can, uh, you can do this kind of stuff. I actually uh, went inside of it and spliced in a power cord instead of its onboard um, power plug that you can plug into it, power supply. Um, but you have to do your own little soldering and stuff for that. I also made a little breakout board here. Oh, pardon the bad lighting if you can't see it too well. But um, there's two ways to actually break out sound out of this thing if you don't want to use the, the little speaker that's inside of it. I took the speaker out because it's kind of redundant the way I have it set up. So I didn't want a little echo or any kind of sound effects. I wanted everything to be coming through my main speaker here. Um, I've got a little set of speakers. Uh, I'm not going to get into how this whole thing is wired up for sound, but I've got several different sound systems in, in, installed. I've got um, basically one standalone sound system in a sense that plays a background track of mechanical sounds. Then I've got a... Um, CF3 sound system mounted down here with it with um, with a uh, well there's the amp that runs the mechanical sounds you can probably hear them All right you want to get sick I can turn it off uh, I got another amp that um, runs both the CF sound system which is right here and um, I can also uh, bring Bluetooth in from uh, a computer uh, and, and tap into any kind of sound file I want there. And it all runs through uh, an automatic AB switch and uh, I get a leveler here. But basically the main sound is going to be coming right from the Easy B whoops, sorry, <laughs> the Easy B that's being streamed right from my right from my laptop here. And um, Right now I'm hooked up, and I'm going to give you a little shameless, uh, give Easy Robots a little shameless plug here. Welcome to the Easy Robot Revolution, the future of robotics. Visit our website for the Getting Started tutorial, www.easy-robot.com. Now that was being streamed right from a sound file uh, that I... That I think is loaded inside the EZB, but anyway, it's um, I triggered it from my laptop through Wi-Fi, um, and it played through my robot's sound system. Now that's not how my robot's going to sound. Um, I have also have got a bunch of files loaded in Easy Builder right now that um, I can play one at a time or trigger with scripts. And uh, it'll play through the sound system, or um, I could use the CF3 sound system when I have files loaded on and play like that too and activate them any, other, any number of ways. But uh, I found that there's different ways to wire out a speaker uh, from the Easy B board here. Uh, one, there's a little amp, I guess, inside of it. I'm not very technical when it comes to this stuff, so I'm going to muddle through this. Please forgive me if uh, 
I'm misstating any terms or anything, but there's a little app inside of there that um, plays that plays your sound through that little uh, the little speaker that I was showing you. Um, or uh, there is little holes on the board itself that I don't have to show you right now, but uh, there's little holes on the bottom board that you can wire a set of uh, a small speaker out of directly out of uh, the board. Or what I chose to do, there's another um, hole in there that you can solder before you get to the amp and break out and get um, really nice audio. If you if you wire in an amp or a speaker, a bigger speaker after the uh, the amp, the built-in amp, I found that the sound was kind of muddled and weak and lacked bass. They provided a breakout hole before the amp for guys like me that want to give uh, true audio, uh, high quality audio uh, from their own systems like I did. So I'm really thrilled at how nice it sounds. It's just amazing. Um, it matches the, the, the fidelity and quality of my CF3 sound system, which is sounds pretty good. It's got a lot of good bass to it. Um, you could t The neon flashes beautifully within sync. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration here by pushing a button on the front of the robot, and this will trigger a sound from the CF3 system. And hopefully you can, you can hear the fidelity difference, or the lack thereof. Robot model B9, designed and computerized as a mechanized electronic aid for Earth voyagers engaged in astral expeditions. However, Dr. Smith has also programmed me for lighthouse work, heavy lifting, vacuuming, gourmet cooking, uncorking champagne bottles, and changing the oil in the family vehicle. Now that came out of the CF3 sound system. Now I'm going to trigger a uh, random file that I have. Uh, I'm going to, this is going to stream right from my laptop on a file that's loaded on my hard drive. Uh, through the air magically or in, through my router and back into the EZB. I don't even, I'm just going to play something here. Data from environmental report complete. Air composition, nitrogen, 83% by volume. Oxygen, 15.5% by volume. Trace amounts, argon, carbon dioxide. Neon, peroxide, and Chanel number no. five. Conclusion: Vivacious blonde in immediate vicinity. End of report. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, sounded really good, really great. I've noticed that the sound also depends on the quality of the files that you're playing. So, if you have crappy little files, it's not going to sound that good. Uh, if you get nice little uh, MP3 files. It's going to sound great. Um, mine are sampled okay. I think I can sample them better. Uh, I've also noticed that my WAV files don't play as nicely, as nice quality as the MP3, but that could be my files itself. Here's another. My speech recognition circuits were designed to interpret normal human speech. You obviously have a speech impediment, which will make further communication difficult. <laughs> Sorry, big guy, he must have been listening to me. I do mumble sometimes and stutter. But um, anyway, I just wanted to make this little short video and uh, give you an idea uh, how nice it works, how, how clear the sound is, how bright the, the fidelity is, and how it does sound nice. Let me give you another example. Sorry. Uh, this comes off of the um, CF3. I was very famous at one time. Everyone knew me and adored me, the robot from Lost in Space. Now I am retired, and I, well, I, I just stand here most of the time and look really cool. Okay, that was the SCF3, and I'm going to play another one here. Off the, uh, I'm going to stream this one. My computers are deeply touched that so many humans are so interested in me. Yeah, we certainly are. Let me play another one. And here's another one. I'm just picking these randomly. Danger, danger. Does your wife coordinate your outfit? 
does. Yes, she does, but that's beside the point. Um, I'll play another one. Have no fear of Smith this year. <laughs> that's from the original show. Let me give you a little treat. This is a, a file that I got from the original 1965 show, Lost in Space, when the robot was going berserk, trying to kill everybody on the Jupiter 2. At exactly launch plus eight hours, inertial guidance system, destroy radio transmitter, destroy cabin pressure control system, destroy. That was kind of cool. And here's another one uh, that was resampled, redone by the voice artist, um, Mr. Trufeld. At exactly launch plus eight hours, inertial guidance system, destroy. Cabin pressure control system, destroy. Radio transmitter, destroy. Kind of a cool little thing. Anyway, I just, again, I just wanted to show you guys um, what uh, what he sounded like and how cool it was. I, I made some uh, pictures and a little bit of write-up on how I did all this on my uh, thread on easyrobot.com. So um, if you guys have any questions, uh, head over there and ask them. Take a look at my pictures and uh, this video again. Take care. Bye-bye.